Hello, everybody. I think it's time, after a bunch of effort, to actually get this going. We are, oh my gosh, Cypher's capture is all cattywampus. How'd this happen? Well, it's nothing we can't fix. But in the meantime, enjoy that weird look. I knew something seemed off. How's everybody doing? Who is ready for Panic Restaurant? My favorite game about restaurants panicking and misnamed food dishes and levels. That looks a little bit better. Who isn't? <laughs> that sounds like the right attitude to have. Okay, I'm going to give our runners a quick little heads up. And we are going to get going. Let's see, Cyprian. Okay. That's all right, so. All right. They have gotten the go word. I'm going to start a timer as soon as I see any of them going. Oh, I didn't say go. <laughs> I just counted to one and did not send them off on their way. All right, that looks like someone's playing a video game. Let me get you some game audio because that seems important. All right, so who doesn't know this game? This game is awesome. It is, I don't know if it's Gordon Ramsay approved. Uh, it's a game I played quite a bit. Um, from what I understand, it is something about, uh, uh, gosh, it wasn't Gordon Ramsay that became a meme in my chat. It was like Gordon Jamsey or Jordan Gamsey. Yeah, Jordan Gamsey. Um, I don't actually know the name of the chef, but in this game, you're going to see him running, jumping, and uh, in, in the American version, he's kind of, are, is Cypher and AK the same feed? I knew it looked weird. Well, let's see what happened. Ah, we need to type a much match. Alright, my bad. Looks like Cypher is just way in the lead and no one knew. And I could have been telling you about the first boss, which you've all missed at this point, and I apologize dearly. But at least, you know, we've got a window we can look at. <laughs> Chef's name is Cookie. Okay, that is news to me. Um, basically, we used to call him Jordan Gamsey, and I think it was just because it was evil Gordon Ramsay of some sort, because I explained the joke. Um, I'm... <laughs> Gosh, where do I start with this game? You are playing as a chef who gained a lot of pounds since the Japanese version. The American version is a much thinner chef that you're playing as. I do not know why they made him a larger uh, stereotype man, but I think uh, I think that part's kind of obvious. Um, you will be swinging your frying pan across several levels. You, if you're lucky, you'll get a spoon power-up, which is pretty rad. Sometimes you'll get a dreaded fork power-up, which is never rad. And, um... Sometimes you'll have a, uh, some plates, and sometimes the plates are awful. All the time, the plates are awful. Let's not dance around that at all. Anyway, we are seeing our runners go through the second level, beating the ever-loving heck out of pizza and apples, and sometimes an onion. The onion being especially dastardly, sometimes. I don't like the apples either, but you can hit the the little apple slices, which is usually a good move. But you don't need to always do that. I think the onions are my favorite because you hit them and they just still become onions. They aren't immediately defeated like weak pizza. So in case picked up the uh, the, the pot. Thing, power up which just makes you spin like a lunatic and he's choosing to skip the uh, the fork because the fork is terrible and now we've got dancing flan everyone's favorite enemy just dancing flan sticking it to both AK and Cypher in here but AK looks like he's got a spoon which you will lose in one hit Pizza should always heal, never hurt. Well, this is very upsetting pizza. 
it gets on to our second boss, which is a microwave that spits out chickens, which is, you know, A plus creative work, in my opinion. And AK fried chicken was the undoing. I guess fried chicken, microwave chicken. I don't think there's a word for like microwaving something other than like it's microwave chicken. It baked is the wrong word. But clearly chicken murdering us all. But both AK and Cypherin moving into level three. I am jumping lackadaisically, delightfully on his fork of justice. Nuked! Yeah, nuked is a good word. I am just choosing not to get the spoon or possibly getting the spoon. Not quite totally sure. Uh, AK and Cypher has moved on to level three. Uh, the kitchen, which is one of my least favorite levels in the game. Or is he cooking it? He might be cooking it. Because it features eggs and eggs are not good and no one likes them. And no one can stop me from saying that here. All right. So, I realized I didn't <laughs> go team. Hey, someone exclamation mark language in chat for Big Mike. Big Mike, you need to donate to the swear jar. Also, if you forgot while we're here, we are beating food to feed hungry children. So, there's a donate link in chat. So, if you're looking to feed hungry children instead of getting murdered by food in this very awkward restaurant, there's an easy way to do this. Let me pull up our donation tracker, because I know there's so many exciting things going on right now. And um, maybe y'all will beat me to it. Where is this? Doo -doo. Oh, so now Infinite Mystery... Um, not Infinite Mystery. Infinite Mystery has chosen to gamble, which is... Kind of not a great move, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Live your best life, is what I say. You really don't need to gamble in this game. It doesn't do anything for you, and, well, I mean, I guess you can gain lives, but lives are not really a great thing to have. You heard it here on RGL. Don't get a life. Stay in and watch RGL all day. Donate to E4K. Because we need to feed hungry children, and, you know, we're already watching three people literally beat food to death, so what could go better than just that? <laughs> Ruin your life to feed kids. Don't donate what you can't pay. That's, you know, that's also very important. <laughs> Don't eat four kids. Or two. I mean... No, probably not. I don't- I don't know. I've been watching a bit of Sabrina, and apparently, uh, Satan likes eating children, I guess. But so, maybe if you're Satan, eat kids? I-, I maybe? But also donate to feed children, please. Okay. So now we're on the popcorn trip boss on Cypher screen. This boss, uh, the first, like, six times I played through this game, I just kind of assumed you could stand there and beat on it, I'd always win. And then the next... <laughs> okay, Fury. And then the next bunch of times I tried to go through it, I just kind of died immediately and realized that is maybe not the best maneuver in the world. So, Cypher moving on to level four. Level four is the level of the sky, uh... Just, what what food is that? It, it, uh, not takoyaki. Uh, whatever those are. But they come at you at very awkward angles and usually... Kebab, thank you. And usually end up rocketing you in some very awkward way. Sky kebabs. So if there's ever a food out there I never thought would ever be training, it's probably kebabs. But now we've got sky, sky kebabs. And uh, if you look at Cypher and screen right now, there will be a pot power-up sitting over a bunch of knives, and I'm pretty confident you can't actually get that. I think there's a brief moment where you can jump off of spikes, but I don't, I don't think that actually exists. And we might have gotten past the power-up, but I missed it completely, and I apologize for that. Ooh. 
This is some of my favorite music in the game. Um, I do think I missed the the sky pot that you just fall into the uh, the knives. I mean, usually the pot works out for you. I I think the uh, the American version just got very awkward when it renamed its levels. I think they might have had some sense. Like, one of the, the levels is just named, like, Soup, and there is no Soup in that stage. No Soup for anybody in the Soup stage. Like, straight up. Getting some stream enhancements to the screen right now. Let's go! Now you know who's talking if you didn't know before. People in a saltwater pool is a soup. I guess it's a soup. That's a really dark way of putting it. But, you know, live your best soup life. I suppose? Superb! I love it! Y'all, I'm gonna keep harping on this. We gotta donate to feed these kids. They want soup too. And, um, hopefully the soup will not hurt them. The Burger Boss, if you don't know to duck, can be quite an issue. Uh, I thought you just had to tank damage at it, realizing you can just duck to, to, to dodge the bottom bun. Um, chat, do you have a favorite bun, a uh, top or bottom bun? I think I, uh, I think I always like the top bun because they get exciting, but without the bottom bun, we'd have no burger. The poppy seed bun. I guess the poppy seed bun is less, less popular. I guess they're more sesame, right? But Cypher moving on to the next stage for everyone's entertainment. Both buns are Nate's favorite. Stage five, meat. This stage is called meat. Here goes a pizza, everyone's favorite meat. There's some ice cream, another good meat. And uh, there is the untimely murder of Chef Boyardee. The forbidden meat. Pretzel buns are pretty good. There is a uh, a bar down the street that has a peppercorn bun, and like a peppercorn burger with like a peppercorn bun that I drown in hot sauce, and it's kind of the best thing in the world, and I want it immediately. Also, here goes some ice cream. Another good meat. Black pepper is a phenomenal food. I am always in for black pepper. So, if you came here for knowledge about Panic Restaurant, I speed ran Panic Restaurant a while back. I don't think there's a boatload to talk about. There's some little skips here and there. Not really skips. It's more optimized movement, making sure you've got a good power-up and don't take damage. So it's basically a video game. Uh, also, don't go to the bonus areas. Those are very bad. They just waste time and they're not fun. And if you're gonna make a bonus area and it's not fun, what are you doing? What are you, bonk? Because really, the bonus areas in bonk are awful. I score runs. <laughs> All right. Infinite mystery spoon and some carrots and a chicken. Finally seeing some meat on AK stage and it's a fish, which is... I don't know if that's meat, but it's like a pescatarian thing.
fish. <laughs> yeah, I guess theoretically it is meat. So, you know, shout out to that. Get your Saba pings in chat. You got some pride Sabas out there. I want to see those. Maybe throw some wings on them. There we go. Give me that sweet, sweet pride Saba. Ice is the meat of the water. Um, you know, it's n you're not wrong. <laughs> All right, fighting our boss of the meat stage is AK. Uh, very theoretically just beating an ice cream cone with a spoon. The ice cream cone has claimed the spoon for its own and uh, we're going to town with a frying pan. Cypherin though, not relinquishing his spoon, determined to get that ice cream. All right, our next stage is aptly named Dessert. Do you want to bet if there's desserts in this stage? Do you want, like, a flying haunted pumpkin for dessert? Because it's really one of my favorite dessert dishes. It's what I'm looking forward to most about Thanksgiving, is flying haunted pumpkins on the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> there's also some angry fish, some nice fish tartare. And yeah, it's a sewer. We're going to fight Waluigi, and I don't care if Waluigi is not the final boss of this game. It's Waluigi. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll see it very soon. <laughs> if I eat a forlorn soul. Chat seems to be pretty thrilled about flying off this pumpkin pie. French fries? I could eat a plate of french fries for dessert. Like, I've never really traditionally liked dessert foods, but I can go to town on a whole plate of french fries. Especially with like, I don't know, hot sauce is pretty good on everything. Not a big fan of sweet potato. AK very valuably choosing to Smack the individual fries away, the projectiles, because that is something Chef Boyardee here can do. Well, we are going to be ahead of schedule. You smack the french fries in your face! Tell you what, Kavik, if we ever get food, you can have all the sweet potato fries and I'll have all the not sweet potato fries. I guess the opposite would be like bitter potato fries, but... This little section here that AK at, is at, drove me crazy when I was learning to play through this game. Uh, especially if you, like, the way that works is you will almost always be unable to actually swing at the bottom french fry. And it will usually clip the bottom of your toe, just like that there. And there's also that extra life that they both decided to pass up on. That is also very awful trying to get. AK, taken down by the firing squad of potatoes, or french fries. And I am working his way through meat. So if memory serves, game over is not the end of the world in this game. I believe you've got some continues. I don't recall if they are unlimited or if um, you only have like three or four, but I can imagine everyone should be able to get through this. The worst part about game over is going back to the beginning of the checkpoint, which is, let's just say you hate to see that happen. Firing Squad, definitely the right term there. 
Also, still time left to get donations in during Panic Restaurant, a game about food where you can feed hungry children in real life. There's a donation link. If you want to get fun about it, you can hit exclamation mark language. But we're doing this for a reason. All right, AK is that Chef Odov, which I really think is just secretly Waluigi, but you know, whatever. I greatly dislike this stage, uh, this boss, pretty much because it takes everything that the game taught you and just throws it out and gives you a completely different style of game to fight the final boss. Which, like, is infuriating. Also, really likes to talk shit about your frying pan that was just here. And now we throw eggs for the first time in our lives. And we're just trying to, to hit his balloon. And uh, if we don't hit his balloon for too long, it starts to reinflate. So hitting it fast and destroying that balloon is the key to victory. And uh, don't get me wrong, friends, this fight can be frustrating at times. All right. AK getting murdered by Waluigi, Cypherin murdering Waluigi, therefore securing him in the timeline as never getting a title game in the Mario franchise. There is no Waluigi's quest, there is no Super Waluigi, there is no Waluigi's mansion. But GG to Cypherin coming in a little over 20 minutes. And uh, AK Pulling in about 20.34. And uh, now the restaurant Eaton. It is not eat at a restaurant. It is Eaton. I believe the restaurant has been consumed. But we've saved the restaurant from the unsanitary Waluigi. And there is no more a panic. Because really, that dude is purple. That can't be healthy. Very accurate. Alright, AK is working his way towards the end of the game. I have firm belief that he'll have no problem getting there. AK has been hitting every single um, slot machine, securing seven lives left in stock. I believe we've got. AK's got this, and I am confident in his ability. What is belief if it is not firm? And AK giving us some safe state practice. In the section that I was saying, it's kind of really mean sometimes. Mean jumps abroad. I suppose so. AK 
Okay, going back again for Odove. You can't catch me in a broken down pan like that. Extra firm tofu for life. Tofu always kind of just tasted weird to me. Uh, it's it's a it's a, a food that exists that always I never liked the texture and it's kind of like weird lack of flavor and people always say oh it 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 absorbs flavor from the other food it's with and I'd argue that tofu with like a good piece of meat is just tofu with a good piece of meat. There's an exciting part of that and a not exciting part of that. So GG to Cyphern, GG to AK, who's going to go for loot two, it seems. And uh, I am making his way downtown. Sometimes you need filler, yep, yep. Carbs make the best filler. I love plain rice. There was no plain rice dish in this game. Or like a plain rice boss. Brown rice is pretty good. White rice is pretty good. Jasmine rice, very good. Even though I guess jasmine rice is just kind of white rice again. Um, kind of put whatever you want in there and everything kind of looks good. I'm pulling into Waluigi's apartment. And with luck, we'll get through this. Okay, giving us the secret ending. Just Turkey Kramer, yo. I, um, I guess Thanksgiving is coming. That is certainly a thing that might happen soon. Cypher and going for loop two, which I loop two is not a thing, but we're going for it. Cheerios with powdered milk once. Cheerios with powdered milk is not white rice, like at all. Cheesecake for dessert. I'm finding out it was tofu cheesecake. Well, that's mean. Let's all send Infinite Mystery your power to deliver Waluigi his just desserts. And there he goes with a delightful time of 27.17. Waluigi has gone down forever. Chef Udove, if you will, if you want to stick to the actual names. Let's get a whole round of GGs out for Infinite Mystery. The gambler of the slot machines. And a whole lot of GG's for all of our... I guess I should stop the timer. That's probably prudent. Or just reset it. That's good, too. Uh, a whole round of GG's for literally everybody. And a GG for yourself in chat. You did great watching. I hope. Except you. <laughs> All right, friends. I think that's going to do it for the Panic Restaurant race. I think it's time to move on. I believe some nerd named Glitch Witch is running. No, I wouldn't call it running, but she's playing Pepsi Man, and I don't know. 
But we should have the dulcet tones of Elrock singing us to sleep as we play it. Um, I may have just promised Elrock will sing to us, but we'll see about that. Anyway, Pepsi Band will be running and someone will be playing it. I'm going to pull us to intermission while we get things ready. And um, y'all, for real, give yourself a round of applause. You're doing great. I'm so proud of you.